Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today I have a special guest, Michael from Vsauce. Hello, Ro. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited that you're here because now I've had all of the Vsauces on Nerdy Nummies. Vsauce 1, Vsauce 2, Vsauce 3, hat trick. Beep, beep. So today we're going to be making Super Mario World veggie fire flowers. It's a mouthful. Yeah, it is. And it will be literally <laughs> when we make them and eat them. Yes, cute little veggie appetizers. They're so cute. All right, are ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. To make the veggie fire flowers, the things you will need will be some regular toothpicks, a square cookie cutter, a tear shaped cookie cutter, a baby loaf of cheddar cheese. I'm using Tillamook because I love cheese from Oregon. Is that all we need? Oh, we'll also need. That's right. You'll also need a cutting board and yeah. everything on the cutting board. A mm -hmm. carrot, a mm -hmm. cucumber, a nice knife that is safe. Mm -hmm. And sharp. And sharp. Sharp knives are safer than blunt knives and a peeler for peeling the veggies. You'll also need a healthy sense of adventure and a willingness to have a lot of fun. You know, Ro, this looks great, mm -hmm. but I'm from the channel Vsauce and I don't see any sauces around here. You are right. So, to spice this episode up, did you like that? I did it because it's a fire flower. <laughs> it should be spicy. It should be on fire. We can make a spicy veggie dip to go with these now little veggies. Now we're talking. Now let's put it all together. Okay, so Ro, what do we do first? First thing that we're going to do is peel the carrot. I'm going to peel the this? carrot. Yeah. Yeah, you just I'm run this over it, right? Yeah. Like we're starting from the top. Look at that. Go down. Mm. Look at that. That is great. Now, what do you do with these carrot shavings? Do they have any use? No, I sometimes just like I'll put them in my hair as a carrot extensions. People do it for Earth Day. It's pretty cool. So beautiful. Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna save these for later. Now you're just gonna take your large cutting knife and we're gonna cut little carrot pennies so they look like little circles. They should be about a quarter inch and just make a bunch of them. All right. I'm chewing on the uh, carrot. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's not going to stop me from cutting a cucumber. We're mm -hmm. going to cut similarly sized pennies out of the cucumber. Mm -hmm. It's about a quarter inch, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, I've gotten really used to the metric system since I've been living outside of the oh, US. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 good that save, good save. That almost ruined everything. <laughs> okay, so now that you've got your cucumber pennies, you're just going to cut them in half like this. And you're just gonna do that to all of your cucumbers. Now that we've got all of our little cucumbers cut in half, you're gonna take your square cookie cutter and you're just gonna use the corner and you're gonna line it up with the middle like this where the seeds are. And you're just gonna cut out the center. So, looks like little flower leaves, just like that. And we're just gonna do that to all of the cucumbers. What can, I, what can you do with the seeds? Well, you can eat them. Now we're gonna cut out shapes into our little flowers. So you're gonna take your carrots and you're gonna take your tear shaped cookie cutter, the pointy end, and you're gonna make two cuts at the top. One and two. Just line it up so that it will make three little flowers. Oh, Look that's at these. Okay, now we've got our cucumbers and our carrots all ready. And the last thing that we're gonna do is cut our cheese into little cubes so that they'll look like this. So it will look like the little prize block that they sit on top of. How cute is that? How cute and clever. Yum, 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 yum. All right, I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy. Uh, again, you're gonna take your sharp cutting knife and you're just gonna eyeball it to about how big. <laughs> look at yeah. that, look at that. Wow. Woo! Boom! Someone just cut the cheese. Look, that's... <laughs> I know, but do you realize that the rind of a cheese really does keep it smelling, so when you cut it, it smells, you know, there's, there's an odor. Here I go, I'm just gonna cut the cheese some more. <laughs> Bring Vsauce on the show to class it up. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to put it all together so that they look like little fire flowers. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your toothpick, so here you go. Thank you. Oh, I gave you two. Well, okay. So nice like that. Okay, then you're gonna take a little cucumber and first you're gonna poke a hole on the bottom of the cucumber. The bottom, okay. Then you're gonna take a little flower, put them on top, then you're gonna take your block of cheese, push it all the way down, be really gentle. The toothpick comes out the end a little bit, so we're gonna take some baking scissors and cut it off. And then you're just gonna do this to the rest of your flowers. All right, now that we have our fire flowers done, we've gotta make a sauce for them, a spicy 
fiery fire flower sauce. I'm so excited. Yeah. To make our spicy vegetable dip, you're gonna need some green onions, shredded cheddar cheese, Tabasco sauce, or your favorite hot sauce, and... Some sour cream, mm -hmm. cream cheese, a clove of garlic, a little bit of cumin, a jalapeno pepper, a sharp cutting knife, and a cutting board. Let's get saucy. <laughs> the first thing that we're gonna do is take eight ounces of cream cheese and you're gonna put it into a little mixing bowl. That's right, that means this entire package, right? Yeah, the entire package. This is really soft. You've had this sitting out, not mm -hmm. refrigerated. Yeah, you wanna let it sit out so it's room temperature. It'd be really easy to mix. A little softened. Oh, yeah. It. There you go. I'm really strong. I don't know if you can tell how big my muscles are underneath this shirt. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Now we're adding the light sour cream to the mix, and you're gonna add half of this container. This container is 16 ounces, so you're only gonna need to add about eight ounces. Doesn't need to be so. perfect. Is that about it? Yeah, that looks good. That's about half. Yeah. Now we're gonna add half a cup of the shredded cheddar cheese. Ooh. I'll let you do it. Watch this, multitasking. Okay. Ooh. Whoa, stir and yeah. pour, stir and yeah. pour. Oh yeah, it's gonna make Mario proud. One teaspoon of cumin. Going right in. Sprinkle you know, it in there, I'll let you mix. We really should have made a mushroom based dip and then we could pretend it was made out of toadstool people. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. This is gonna take forever. Oh, that is gonna take forever, isn't it? I guessed it would take eight, but it's gonna take about a tea. A tea tries. That's about how many times it takes me to finish a level in Super Mario World. <laughs> My problem's jumping. Look at that surface tension at work. Oh! Oh, the science! Oh, whoa. Oh. Now, we are gonna dice one clove of garlic. The cute guy. Look how little he is. And now, last but not least, we're gonna chop up some green onion. You want two tablespoons of green onion. Chop off the white parts. I saw a video, you just do that. And that. And don't get your fingers. Actually, this recipe calls for two ounces of row fingers. Oh, Did I it read does? that wrong? There's a tablespoon. There it is. One. One, two. Two. The last, last thing that we're gonna add is a jalapeno pepper. I forgot this. So okay, what we're gonna do is cut off the end, like that. Then we're gonna cut it in half. And now we're gonna gut it. You're just gonna take out all these little insides in the seeds. We don't want it. Now that they're chopped up, we're gonna put them all in the dip. I'm gonna put them on here. Ooh, start mixing. Love it. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> Here are fire flower snacks. They're little veggie snacks. They're so cute. Thank you for helping me make these. Thank you very much for having me here. These were really simple to make. Yeah. Very easy, but the presentation is really cute. Yeah, it's really cute. And we also made the spicy veggie dip sauce. And I had to make that because we had V sauce in the house. I'm going to put all of Michael's links down below and all the social medias. All those things. Of course. What yeah. you got? Do you got Twitter? I've got Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook. Come on. All that. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Treasure yeah. trove of links down below for all of that kind of stuff. There's treasures down <laughs> below. And if you guys have any other ideas for any of the nutty nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below, and I'll do my best to make it happen. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, I want to try this. Are you ready? Well, yeah, but let's go into this. Oh, oh. bro. Wait, hold on. Wait. Okay, pretend that it never happened. That never happened. Three, two, two one, one, dip. Two. Oh, oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Mm. Cutting the cheese, get it? Well, we haven't cut the <laughs> cheese yet. If you, eat a, if you eat a lot of spicy stuff, you don't cut the cheese, you shred the cheese.